This video is going to be all about the Moza Slipod Pro, which is an amazing slider. This is such a great monopod, motorized slider, jib. It's literally all of those things. It's a motorized monopod, which can act as a slider, a jib, and it's really actually quite lightweight. It's made of carbon fiber. There are two versions. So you've got this Slipod Pro version and you've also got the Slipod E, which is a little bit smaller and weighs less and it doesn't extend quite as far as the Pro. Um, so the Pro goes up to it extends out to 52 centimeters and at its full height, it goes up to 138 centimeters. Like I said, it's pretty lightweight, so I can literally carry this around with all my other camera gear and not feel the weight of it. It doesn't feel heavy. If I were to go on a hike with it, it wouldn't feel heavy at all. It weighs 1.46 kilograms. And in terms of battery life, it actually lasts quite a while. So on Moses website, it claims that it will last up to five and a half hours. I haven't tested it that much in terms of that duration if that makes sense so i've been out and i've used this for maybe like two hours and then i've come home and then used it later on in the evening for another maybe one or two hours and it hasn't died on me and then i just charge it up after i finished using it so that i know that it's fresh for the next time anyway so it hasn't run out on me yet so that's pretty good What I really like about this as well is that it comes with an Arca Swiss release. So I use peak design plates on my cameras so that I can just quickly take the camera off a tripod or my capture clip or uh, my gimbal, my Ronin RS2. And so I will just literally have Arca Swiss release, release plates on everything. But this already comes with one and so it works perfectly with the peak design um, plates that go on the camera. <laughs> The other thing is because it is a monopod it comes with like little tripod legs which you can remove to make it even lighter so if you knew you were going to go out and you just wanted to use it on an actual tripod which is how i use it as well you could remove the feet which aren't even heavy anyway and you could leave them at home or leave them in the office whatever um otherwise you could just take the feet off and put them in your backpack and just not use them i do tend to take them off when i'm using the slipod on a tripod only because I feel like it's just reducing that weight so it just makes the slipod work a little bit better in terms of there's no jitters or anything like that so um, it's really easy to remove the base so I do recommend doing that if you get it. But as I mentioned, I use it on a tripod and the one that I use at the moment is the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. And the reason that I use that tripod is because it literally weighs nothing and it, it folds up really small. It's really compact and um, it can also take quite a heavy payload. Not that the slide pod's heavy anyway, but it's really um, it's decent enough to take the weight of that as well as be really light for me to carry all my gear around if I'm going out for a walk. And on top of the Peak Design tripod, I use the iFootage Komodo K5 fluid head, which is something that I do recommend to use with the slide pod because it means that you just have more versatility when you're actually using it. So as your as the slide pod is um, extending or retracting, you can just do another axis of motion with the um, if you have a fluid head on your tripod. The other thing is that you can actually use a gimbal on the slipod and Moza provide a gimbal called the Aircross 2 and more recently one called the Aircross 3. So that's hopefully something that I'm going to be able to show you in another video because that's just just completes the whole package and it just be awesome. So yeah, it, ultimately I think this motorized monopod is just insane. And when I got it, or when I was thinking of getting it, I had it in my um, on my list for quite a while because I was thinking, do I need this? Am I actually going to use it? And I actually do. I use it so much, especially because I shoot a lot of 
review videos so it's really come in handy lately for those kind of videos as well now the only thing that i would say is because not every piece of gear is perfect and even though i'm raving about it it's great but there is one downside which even isn't really a downside as such it's the noise so if you're using it at high speeds which i doubt you would very rarely use it at high speeds anyway it is quite loud but if you're using it at the slower speeds then you, you can barely hear it so let me just show you what i mean i'm going to crank it all the way up and then see if you can well you'll be able to hear it So that is at the full speed, which is 30, and I'm using this remote here. So I forgot to say that it also comes with a remote. Um, if you buy it, you have to buy it separately, but you can use it with this remote. And you can also use it with the app, which I haven't tried yet because I tried to connect to the app and my phone just wasn't having it. So I need to try and figure that out and work that out and figure out why that's not working. And you can also, um, operate it on the actual slide pod itself because it's got two buttons it's got an up and down button so if you didn't have the app which i don't have or you didn't have the remote you can still use it on the slide pod itself um, the benefit of using the app or using a remote is that you don't get any jitters when you start the motion and so yeah it just means it's a hands-off approach and it will just be as smooth as it possibly can um, but in terms of noise so if i turn it down all the way to let's say three you will still be able to hear it a little bit, but it's nowhere near as loud as when it's at, it, at its full speed. And so around like three to maybe seven or eight, depends what you're filming, it depends what lens you're using, but you're just not going to really hear it as much. And um, that's ba basically where I found myself using it recently for the kind of shots that I've wanted to get. So it's not a big deal. The noise isn't a big deal. And it's definitely not something that puts me off using it whatsoever. You might get a few funny looks whilst you're out and, you know, extending it quickly or retracting it quickly because you want to get it back to the start position or the end position or whatever. But um, other than that, it's, yeah, it's great. <laughs> So I do not for one second regret buying this at all. And as I said, I'm hoping that I can try out the Aircross 2 or the Aircross 3 in another video so that I can show you how the motion works with everything all packaged up together. Um, but you can find a link in the description. I've put a link in the description and you can get 10% off if you use the code Tamara Gabriel. So do check that out if you're interested. As I said, I think it's awesome. And um, yeah. In the next video, I'll show you how to set everything up, how I use it, how I get certain shots and whatnot. So do subscribe if you haven't already and do give this video a like if you found it really useful or you liked it. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one.